Hi guys, it's me Nana and I'm here with my obsession, finally. Someone had requested a Halloween card, or actually uh, cards from Dollar Tree stickers. And I already had an idea in my mind because I was obsessed with these bags. And yes, that's what I did. Happy Halloween. I made cards out of Halloween bags from Dollar Tree. They just have so many things for you to play with that you just can't help but call up the challenge and do it. So I'm going to show you what I did. These are just the plain bags and then that's what they became. It just takes construction paper, the bags themselves, and a few tchotchkes from Dollar Tree, and you have something unique to give to your little ones and friends or schoolmates or uh, grandchildren, whatever, you know, stickers, whatever you get. Most of these, again, are directly from Dollar Tree, from their stickers. Definitely these bags, they're, I guess they're lunch bags, but you can make them into Halloween um, uh, grab bags and all I could think was cards lots and lots of fun little cards those little buttons and the stickers and everything that comes along with it's not hard it's very easy you could do this uh, I did it last night in a couple of hours uh, it's just so colorful you can't help but uh, want to do something with them other than what they actually uh, intended for us to do with them who knows what they intended anyway so as you see I made a little tag that you can put right into the bag in this case this one is attached to some construction paper it's cardstock you know just regular cardstock and uh, you can fill it with things or not uh, or just uh, I don't know create something for your neighborhood kids for your kids uh, kindergarten classes or preschool or even elementary i mean the tag was so much fun to make and uh I, you can tell just by my animated way of showing you it, it was a lot of fun it was a labor of love and uh, we're gonna get right to it okay so let's do this okay so the first decision was how big i was going to make it so i figured about eight inches uh, didn't want to cut off too much from the bags themselves you wanted to maintain you know the full integrity of the bag so I decided I would make it about five inches wide by eight inches long so I cut the construction or cardstock uh, to um, 10 inches by eight inches and then I scored it at the five inch line so we have basically a five by eight card now you can make an envelope for this pretty easily but I created these for not really necessarily mailing just handing out like I said for uh, school school uh, classrooms or neighborhood kids that kind of thing so when making a mat for this it's pretty simple again uh, you do five by eight so you just take um, one eighth of an inch off of each successive mat in other words see that how it comes out you have about an eighth of an inch between the first card and then the mat itself and then you make the bag again uh, an eighth of an inch smaller than the second mat so everything just kind of lines up on top of itself and I kind of popped a little half circle there so it still looks like a paper bag see how that worked and you just kind of um, tape it onto itself now I ended up taping the back flap together as well so here I'm just kind of um, matting everything together taping it on top of itself and this is where I taped the little flap. See that little flap? I taped it down so it wouldn't try to flop open on its own. And then from there, it's just decorate. I mean, it can't be any simpler than that. 
I made three different styles. Now this one has the bag open on the front and I'm just going to decorate it. And when we get to the next style, I'll come back at you, okay? Okay, so now for the inside of this specific card, I did the same thing, just matted it a quarter, uh, excuse me, an eighth of an inch smaller. And then this is just another bag that I had already cut open and I'm just using it as, you know, a backdrop, why not? And uh, don't wanna waste anything. But this one was a lot of fun too because the the bags are just you know they're they're aren't all in of themselves so and the kids will just get a kick out of it so again this is just another decorating opportunity Now here I'm making a tag, and what I've decided to do is just uh, manually do it. You know, make my little tick marks rather than measure, because sometimes that's a little tricky when it comes to specific sizes. So I just put a tick mark on it and cut it where uh, it looked like it would slide in and out. Now, uh, I'm not good at making tags. In fact, this is the first time I've actually made my own tag. <laughs> so I uh, just made it to, to where I knew it would fit. Just again, no measurements here, just uh, taking a tick mark there and then doing the same thing with the second one. And the reason I'm putting two on there is to make it nice and strong. So when they pull it in and out, and you can actually like, when the time comes, you can actually uh, like tape uh, candy onto it. I mean, real candy this time, you know, this is just a card, but you can do so many things with this by adding, um, adding more things to it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just measuring, you see where those tick marks are on my mat so that you can make a tag. This is where tags for me, I've always had a problem with them because I don't make that little V or that little um, triangle cut very well. But this was a nice little trick and it actually worked. So I'm showing you so that you can see how uh, that might help you if, you if you like making tags that is. And then of course, just kind of lining it up with this one. So that's it. That's the decorating phase now. And uh, in this one card, I incorporated all the things that I did 
in all three. So I really just made uh, the other two off camera and then I did the third one for you to see how it was done. So you can choose to make just one with a tag without a card fold over or one with a fold over and a tag so you get the best of both. But I enjoyed making all three of them and I hope you enjoyed them too. And uh, it was a labor of love and I think that I'm going to be making quite a few more uh, for my uh, neighborhood kits just because it's a lot of fun. So there it is, that's the end. And again, this is incorporating all of the uh, things that I did to the other two. So it's basically just a repeat and you can get as crazy as you like. Of course, I'm not quite done yet. I'm sure going to put probably a little bit more into it, but I wanted you to see it. I hope you liked it. Thanks for the request. They're just lovely. I can't believe what you can do with a paper bag and some construction paper. So again, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put a few more pictures on the end side. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, it's a little early, but hey, happy Halloween. Bye for now.